welcome back to sub 120 episode 6 uh, today's in 8 mile tempo again at 6.10 per mile that should be fairly easy you know, these are like a 20 mile per hour wind coming from that way so don't know if that's going to hit me any point during the run but if it does it might be a slow split but I'm not going to go race effort on, do you know what I mean? Essentially, I don't want to run too hard when I don't need to, because this is blowing that to threshold when I do it. So I don't want to tip over that because that's not the purpose of the session. So yeah, we'll just see how it goes. And obviously I'll update you every so often. I've been losing my mind trying to figure it out But I'm stuck in a drought, I guess I'll start again I've been losing my mind trying to figure it out But I'm stuck in this house, I am my only friend Lately I know I've been a punk and I need to sober up Double cup, it got me stuck, I think I'm losing it It's every time that I've been getting stuck Still a line inside my head, my head. It's windy, I feel very comfortable But I don't really want to be talking uh, I'll catch up with you at a mile four. If you draw that line, babe, I hope you know I'm crossing it. I've been losing my mind trying to figure it out, but I'm stuck in a drought. I guess we'll start again. I've been losing my mind trying to figure it out, but I'm stuck in this house. I am my own friend. Over and over again, it's like I never win. Why you putting me down? It don't make any sense. I'm I don't know where the wind is coming from at this point, so sorry if it's slow. We're not here at 610. Lately, everything I say, you just tell me it's wrong. I told her I won't be here long, I can't hold it in. Every time you cross my mind, I brought another memory to keep yours inside. I saw us drown like high tide, and everything. 630. As you can hear, it's windy. Yeah, you can even tell it's windy. I'll talk to you when I get in when it's not windy. Promise you, I'll talk to you when I get in. I'm nearly home. But I need to show you something because it has significance. My heart rate is down to 146, right? Um, so, I will tell you what that means and why I've just told you that um, in a half. And it's not as simple as, oh, my heart rate's 140. Yeah, that's it, but it links to something a few episodes ago. So, catch you in a few seconds. Right, so, um, this is gonna be, this is, I've just, like, right, so I've just got in from my run, and, um, Obviously, I've explained everything. This is before my explanation, but just so you know, because I didn't say, um, I did three mile warm up, eight mile tempo, three mile cool down, so 14 miles for today. Um, yeah, so now we're going to get into the explanation of how it was, so enjoy. Um, we've done eight miles at 6.10, and five and six were like not 6.10, um, yeah. Some some of the splits of um I think it's my seven or something that I didn't basically the GoPro decides when it wants to take pictures and when it wants to record for some reason. There's an option to change it, but I didn't change it, I don't know why, but yeah. So they I would have just either put in the picture of mile seven and just said the split. Um yeah. But anyway, I've got in, um I've showered oh, I haven't eaten yet, which I should have, but I like to do everything else first. I've drunk water, I ate some pineapple and foam mould and everything like that, so that's good. So I did say that I'd speak to you when I got in. Um, I just wanted to like sort of update you on how I was feeling and everything like that, because I just finished and I was like, you know, I can't talk. Um, yeah, so the thing about the heart rate, no. It was like 146 or something, and the reason I said I would tell you about that is because I was listening to a podcast and... It explained it, it. I like it made sense. I listened to yesterday, so so you know how somebody said I could be anemic because I was like not feeling sore after the workouts and stuff. Um, I figured out that basically, 
on I knew I wasn't anyway, but this is like clarification that I'm not because my legs do feel a little bit tight now. But I didn't go over my lactate threshold, I think majority of the time. Might have at some points, but most of the time I didn't. Um about the anemia thing, like saying that when you've been doing a high intensity and your heart rate's been up, um, it's you can't get it down. And it just stays high, even if you you could be like running five flat mile pace, have a one eight six, one eight five heart rate, but then you could be running ten minute mile pace and still have like a one seventy. You just can't get your heart rate to go down. And that's when you're anemic. But mine, as you can see, it went down to like one hundred forty six from a hundred and probably eighty five, eighty seven, something like that. Um, so that just shows like I'm not, and I knew it wasn't anyway. But that's just so you know. I don't want to make this too long, I just want to sort of explain, like, how I felt. So I felt good. Um, I 100% could run that for a half without fuel. Maybe not solo. I feel like I'd need a group. I'd, like, I don't think I'd need a group, but it would help. Like, if I had a group to try, like run with, um, I could run it untapered, unfueled, on body fat, and pre-drink, like, water before the race. Um... I could run 6.10 for a half on that. So I'm saying 6.05s if I fueled, um, put, like had gels and water around with a group and maybe tapered. Uh, I could probably do it non-tapered, but if I was tapered, 100%. So that's like, what, a 119.42? Yeah, so 119.40 something for a half. Which brings me to the point of I'm so like I can say that I can hold that, but we need evidence, obviously. Um, I'm not gonna go and run a half yet. I'm hoping the race is still on. If it's not, I'll just do a half for you and make a video out of it. And I'll get somebody to record me on a bike or something. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking. But say it's, the race is in like July. I'm saying, if I'm at a one nineteen now, that is. It's like end of April right now. If we get to the start of June, I'm saying one eighteen, which is reasonable because that's six flat per mile. Only like take off five seconds per mile for what I could. Um, I'm saying if I took off another few seconds, like three seconds, that's a one seventeen. I think I could do that by July. Because if I run 118 in June, I can run a 19, I can run a 117 in July. And obviously a 117 would be great. Um, I just hope that I get to race. If I got to race and I ran 119, I'd be more, I'd be so happy compared to, like, I prefer that over a bill to run 117 and not race. Even if I did a time trial, it wouldn't be the same. Because, um, like, the race is just different. It goes down on your, like, in the UK, you've got power of 10, which is just like your stats of your races, you've done everything like that. Um, and I would like, it's all just set in stone. I did that because if I did a time trial, people were like, oh yeah, but Strava like doesn't measure properly and everything like that. And I, like, I can't be bothered with that. And they'd be like, oh yeah, you chose the right day, you did this, that. And like, I don't know, just doing a race and you get a medal and stuff like that. So <laughs> why not? But yeah, that was just to sort of tell you how I feel um, about, the about the race, about the tempo. It felt good, felt not, I don't know, I didn't speak much because um, I didn't want to like lose my breath. Um, it felt comfortable, like I say always, comfortably uncomfortable. So that, I, like I set off and I was like, this is going to be hard. And I was running like a 5.30 mile pace. I was like, yo, I need to slow down. But um, honestly, it felt like I jogged the entire way, except for the wind. And about that, actually, it was like a 6.25 mile 5 and like a 6.18 mile 7, no, 6, 6, mile 6. Um, because I could have hit that, but if I don't want to go above my lactate threshold, why would I? Because the perceived effort of that was the same because I was going equally as hard, just the wind was slowing me down. So like, I don't care about what people think because it's about the effort, do you know what I mean? The heart rate seems to stay the same. Um, what would be the purpose of me running a 6.10 against the wind, like a 20 mile per hour headwind, when I could just, just for people to see it and just be like, oh yeah, I ran 6.10 for that, when I could 
Like, it'd just be pointless. Sorry about the, the um, smoke alarm thing. Yeah, so I just, the purpose of the session was to not go above my lactate threshold, but be just under it, which is what I was, because I think my lactate threshold is about six flat. So, do you see what I mean? You've got to follow the purpose of the session. Or else, what's the point of doing it? It's, uh, but yeah, I don't want to be like all serious, but this is just the video, basically. That's what happened in the tempo. Um, Felt good. We're getting fit, boy. So we'll just continue with that and see where we go. So if this has been entertaining or insightful or just if you've enjoyed it or just even if you haven't enjoyed it, just please leave a like and please have a dislike, just give me feedback. And um yeah, I'd say can you like leave a comment on what what your lactate threshold is at the moment or what you think your lactate threshold is because I'm interested to know because I knew a few people watching, watch and I probably know yours, but people that I don't, so yeah. And if you haven't subscribed, obviously, please subscribe down below because um, it helps, I guess. It just makes me like more motivated, even though I'm already motivated to upload and just help you out, it does help, so yeah. Hope this has been entertaining and I'll see you in the next one.